Good evening, good evening. Wow, look at this crowd, what a turnout. We're going to make history on History Night. Welcome, Hillites of Potrero. Welcome to Dogs from the Patch. The missionaries from the mission. A few burnouts from Bernal. You rich folks from the Richmond. And I see nobody from Noe. So. I'm Keith Goldstein, Kansas Street resident. I'm currently serving the 20th year of a life sentence as president of the Petrero Dog Patch Merchants Association. <laughs> Shop local, we got all these wonderful local businesses here. They've really done well through the pandemic, mostly because of your fantastic support of our merchants. And keep on shopping local, eat at our local restaurants, and we'll keep Petrero Hill the coolest community in California. We got a really, really fantastic program. I'm so excited about the program uh, this year. We've got Tom McGarvey, the nonagenarian former owner of Red's Java House, is going to sing and talk about his experiences. And then bef uh, we also, before that, have a chat with a Connecticut street resident, uh, volunteer street cleaner, um, and a former mayor of San Francisco, Art Agnos. And thank you for keeping our streets clean, Art. If anybody's seen him out there, he's still out there picking up the garbage. <laughs> um, anyway, before we actually start with History Night, uh, just uh, presented by the Petrero Hill Archives Project, and we'll introduce uh, them soon, and sponsored by Avenue Green Light, who gave us a generous grant so that we could do this here tonight. I want to find out who has the most history on Petrero Hill. So if you live on the hill, oh, I think I can see who it might be. <laughs> and you don't have to start standing up yet, Mary. <laughs> Please stand up if you live on Petrera Hill. Ah, look at this. Well, Please be, be nice to the half a dozen people here that don't live on the hill. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, they, they have promised to buy us all pizza later on. Thank you so much, non-hillites. <laughs> um, okay, if you've lived on Petrero, no, you have to stay standing. This is the last, last person standing. If you've lived on Petrero Hill for less than a year, you can sit down. Oh. Blimey, you look like you've lived up here for decades. Oh, so. <laughs> if you've lived, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you've lived on Petrero Hill for less than five years, please sit down. Oh boy, we've got a veteran crowd here tonight. If you lived on Petrero Hill for less than 10 years, sit on your tuchus right now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is unbelievable. 15 years, if you've lived here. <laughs> oh, we lost a couple over there. 20 years. So we've got like several dozen plus 20 years, 25 years. 30 years, last century. 35 years. Um, by the way, I'm still standing because I moved up to Petrera Hill in April of 1974, 49 and a half years ago. But you can probably figure that by my accent, which is a true Kansas Street accent. Uh, <laughs> we were up to 30 years, 35 years. Not a, not a, not a knee bent. Look at that. 40 years, 40 years, 1983, 45 years, 50 years. I have to sit down now. I lost that one by <laughs> six months. <laughs> one, you look too young. 
two, three, four, five, six. God, there's a lot of young looking people here. There's something about the air up here, isn't there? <laughs> we got a dozen people who still look fantastic after living here for about 50 years. 55 years. Oh, oh the whole family went down there. <laughs> 60 years. <laughs> there you go, 60 years. Give the man a hand. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to point out, 60 years was 1963, bloody heck, <laughs> 60, you're still standing, <laughs> 65 years, oh wow, wait, there's, there's, seven, this is, um, uh, 70 years, oh my, it's Is that jo Joan? Joan? Paula and Mary Law. I don't see you at the Manny Petty anymore, Mary. <laughs> they come and do you at your house now, right? <laughs> you still go there? <laughs> Good for you and Rosemary, all more than 75 years. Give them a fantastic hand. I can't believe that we're gonna say 80 years. Is anybody here more than 80 years? Mary, Paula, oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> What's a Jewish kid from East London supposed to know about this? <laughs> so, 85 years. Eight, okay, but Paula, when, when did you? 83 years. Wow. <laughs> Mary. The same. What month were you born? What month were you born? <laughs> I think they jointly made history on Petraea Hill here tonight. So congratulations, <laughs> Mary and Paula. I just want to give an acknowledgement. We had the Petraea Festival uh, on the, every year, third Saturday in October. And uh, it was a great festival. We rebranded it as the Petraea Hill R&B Festival. Um, we raise money for the programs at the Petraea Hill Neighborhood House from the Petraea Hill Festival. I'm delighted to say that this year we got $120,000 in sponsorships for the festival. And we were able to give about $75,000 for the after school programs at the Petraea Hill Neighborhood House. And I don't know how many of you know the name, but it just warms my heart every time I go there to see the programs that they offer to so many people in our community and so many of the more disadvantaged people in our community. I want to give a shout out to the long-term executive director of the NAIB, who's here tonight, my great friend, Edward Hadder. <laughs> Edward, thank you for all that you and your wonderful staff, and I know quite a few of your staff are here and uh, do for, uh, for our community on Petraea Hill. Thanks, man. What a season we have going on now. We had that wonderful uh, extravaganza on Halloween uh, with just thousands of kids in there dragging their parents around on 18th and 20th Street. History night tonight, and December the 19th, we will be doing next door to the Good Life Grocery at the Hair Fair. We'll be celebrating with Santa once again. We'll be giving presents to all the kids. Uh, we'll have music, we'll have Santa there. So put it in your calendars. We'll start around 4.30 or 5 o'clock on December the 19th at the Hair Fair next door to the Good Life. Celebrate with Santa! So let's get on with the program. I'm thrilled to introduce one of the most fantastic assets that we happen to have on Petraea Hill. Peter Lelenthal, founder of the Petraea Hill Archives Project. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I'm, I'm so glad you all came. <laughs> 
and Lisa came too. Uh, I want to welcome you to the 24th annual Petro Hill History Night. Some smart person said that history is not a museum, but a conversation. And we have two wonderful conversations that I can't wait to hear tonight. Uh, but there were a lot of people who came together to make this night possible, and I want to thank them. Uh, we got a very generous grant from Avenue Greenlight, uh, which is great. Thank you. I also want to th thank St. Teresa's Church for inviting us, particularly uh, Father Michael Greenwell, who just re retired, and Father Quijan. And Father Quijan, who's here tonight. And I want to welcome the new fathers who are coming very soon, Father uh, Greg Hook and Father Brian. And I want to thank Francisco, the building manager, who was extremely helpful. <laughs> the musicians who serenaded you during the pizza hour were Ed Rudolph, Sohail Solomon, and Jim Franciovich. And the spectacular flowers are from Bell and Trunk. <laughs> Our ticket sellers were Mary Petrin Kehoe and Maury Schwartz. And Melinda Lee. <laughs> My husband, Phil Anisovich, was manning the aerial photo table. <laughs> And Rosemary Osler generously arranged to have beautiful 1970s photos from Luis Angiano, uh, which he brought to the festival, and he is giving them to the people who are, who are in the photos, which is really cool. And there was a Mr. DeRosa here tonight who uh, got a beautiful photo of his dad, and Rosemary found photos of her folks in those in that collection, which is really cool. Uh, our pizza staff was Kazuri Jackson and Renee Strong, helped. <laughs> and we were happy that the new manager at Goat Hill Pizza, uh, Sarah Davis, could help us out tonight. And all-you-can-eat pizza is reinstated on Monday nights, just saying. <laughs> uh, our tech guru tonight is Mr. Wah. <laughs> and our videographer who came all the way from Weed is Martin Spencer Davies. Uh, a student at City College has returned to the place of her birth, Petro Hill, to record tonight for KALW. Where's Molly Blair? Salyer, there's Molly. <laughs> and of course, I want to thank Keith Goldstein, president of the Petro Dog Patch Merchants Association. Uh, but the uh, biggest thanks goes to tonight's three guests who will take the stage very shortly. Uh, first, uh, Philip DeAndrade, <laughs> who founded Goat Hill Pizza in 1975. <laughs> the year I remember, because that was the year I moved to Petro Hill. Uh, AKA Goat Hill Phil. And of course, uh, Mayor Art Agnos, who you'll be hearing from shortly.
I've been begging Art to be part of History Night for a number of years, and it was kind of funny. This year, I said, could you, do you think you could appear? And he said, well, you know, uh, 2024 is going to be a big election year, and I'm going to be kind of tied up. And then, like, 30 seconds later, he emailed back, oh, you know, we're in 2023, but my mom... <laughs> Anyway, I'm so glad he could come tonight. <laughs> and if you were here last, if you, if you came to History Night last year, you had a preview of Tom McGarvey, who will be interviewed after Art. He founded Red's Java House with his brother on the Embarcadero, and he promises to close out the evening with a rendition of I Left My Heart in San Francisco. So, you don't want to miss that. <laughs> Although history is not a museum, it's a conversation, we've accumulated a lot of physical stuff, which at the moment is stored in my basement. Not, not the best place. So, if you should know of 600 square feet that a nonprofit could have long term, tell me about it. <laughs> Thank you. I also am excited to announce a new project of the Petro Hill Archive Project uh, with a couple neighbors, uh, journalist Robin Evans, who is there, <laughs> and graphic designer Tom Ingalls from CCA. <laughs> We're going to make a Petro Hill cookbook inspired in part by Josephine Aliotto, who here holds the mortar and pestle that her family brought from Sicily. Uh, I should add that she's 104 years old and still going strong. Uh, and she grew up on 20th Street, minding the family goat, and Rosemary Ostler saved the goat footprints, which were made in cement outside uh, Rosemary's house, and they are now installed outside of Goat Hill Pizza. <laughs> in any case, so the cookbook will combine family and neighborhood history with recipes, and we want all of your recipes and all of your history and Robin will be holding flyers, which will help you get in touch with us tonight, but there will be other ways to get in touch with us. This is not gonna be an overnight project, so, uh, because we wanna represent the richness, diversity, and creativity of our neighborhood. I've worked with Abby Johnston for many years. We wrote a couple books on Petro Hill history. Abby can't be here tonight, but she, uh, she gave me a little note that she wanted me to read. Abby says, I miss you all. I had major surgery a month ago, and it may take two months to mend. I've been looking forward to Goat Hill Phil interviewing former Mayor Art Agnos for a long time. It should be available to the public very soon. It'll be on YouTube very soon. And will be a delight, I know. I'm also looking forward to all the other fun Peter always finds to entertain us with. Happy night, happy history night, everyone. That's from Abby. And with that, I invite Phil D'Andrade and Mayor Art Agnos to the center.